Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, today, uh, my name is Adelina by the way, if you are new, okay? And don't forget to subscribe there. Today I'll be showing you, this is more an intermediate, retouching, you know, and uh, I love to do this technique if I have a bunch of images that need to be retouched and I don't have a time at all. So let's jump in, okay? First, that's our model. Our model is Bianca. She's a fitness model photographed by Jeff on Instagram. His Instagram is, and is Jeff Loves Photography. And as you can see, I'm gonna start with cleaning up process and by using an empty layer above, by using an empty layer above and on the cleaning up process, I love to use healing or clone stamp tool with by making sure that with the option on my option bar, I gotta you gotta make sure your sample is current and below because it's sample below. Okay, yeah, it's something that's pretty much it. And um, <coughs> I will do the cleaning up process and removing all the stuff that's gotta be removed. And as you can see, Bianca has a great skin so there's not much to it the next step is adding a dojen burn using 50 percent clay layer make sure your blonde mode is in soft light and i love to use blush instead of a tool direct tool direct dodge tool and i on this image i i, I want to be more careful so i duplicate my dojen burn my 50 percent grayer there and one is for the burning and the second is for the dodge dodging dodgeball okay bando okay yeah that's it and i group them and had a u saturation where i gotta desaturate this is for the helping layer just it helps me to see how the lights bounce yeah and i'm adding curves contrast it's seeing it's very good and see it helps me to see where i can dodge and where i can burn okay pray with that okay you know you just don't have to be careful on this you just gotta do what you think it's right what it's be easier for you to see where to dodge and burn and that's it group them and state them had as h for help h stand for help and Let's do the brushing. Make sure your flow is in 3% or 2% or 5%. It depends with your settings. And gotta do the brushing, the basically where I gotta do the dodge and burn. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, start with the dodge. Make sure your background is in white and it's dodge if your background is in white that means you're dodging and since you're using blush that means you're dodging and i'm gonna dodge on the hillier that's gonna that need to be dodged okay like here under there's a little bit of brightness okay over our chin okay she had the strong features so there's not much to do and the lights bounce light on her i love how the light bounce and her features are so great makes it easier for me okay so so what dodging means where in dodging where it's obviously it's adding the highlight but for me it also helps me to remove those unwanted dark unwanted shadow well, where i say that that doesn't, doesn't feel right i'm adding highlight and then remove the unwanted shadows as you can see pop pop okay Make sure you know there's some earlier just you gotta highlight them because it looks cool. Okay. If it's so much you can reduce it, you can reduce your flow or you can reduce your opacity. It goes with you. And then move to burn. My layer, my background color is on black mode and gotta burn. Gotta burn. You know, I don't use much of the burn so you know, just she has a strong feature, the light bouncing right. I cannot hide more shadow on her and that's it you see okay so that's my rule 
that's what I'm starting with. Make sure I just, this is more like contouring, you know, I just contour a phrase and stuff and make her look great already before jumping to another step. She's good to go. If you have seen my previous tutorial, probably you have seen me do dodging, you know, I, I, okay. And that's it. And here, highs. Okay, and her mouse a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so no pressure in here, no pressure. <laughs> it's contouring, so it, it does not confuse. Okay, yes, yes, we're going, we're going there, we're getting there. Mm -hmm. On our neck. So that's the difference. You see the difference. It doesn't have to be a much difference. You just trust in yourself and believe in yourself that there is a change. You know, if you don't feel like there's no change, then continue doing it as much as you can. But okay, yeah, and that's pretty much it. And let me move to my healing layer and try to remove any distraction that I see. You know, okay make sure highs but not much to section my highs okay love her <laughs> yes let's go mm -hmm. yeah I think the images already look great in color wise you can stop here if you want <laughs> but I will not it depends what uh, image the image is what for okay and that's basically the doge and burn okay yes i think i'm good to go i like it that way uh the next step that's gonna be is uh, i'm gonna add an action it's a uh, invented eye pass and usually it's for color collection. I use it for color correction, collecting color and stuff. See, yes, get flower. That's it's called skin editing, but I, I like to call it CC or color. It's for color here. I don't do. I don't make it as my main, my main workflow or stuff. So, I use I choose my mixture. Uh, my on the option bar I gotta make sure that everything is as low as possible and 25 percent is my is my number to, is my go-to number no make sure that there's not too much oh thanks okay so let's go I will show you the technique of this one and why I love to use the lowest number the, the lowest settings Okay, as you can see the difference a little bit not too much because if you use it too much it kind of you know it's kind I don't know it, it doesn't feel right <laughs> it doesn't feel right yes okay a little bit see only for color collection but make sure you do not distract the lighting how the light bounce matters it really matters that's why you need to be careful if you're gonna use that invented eye pass you gotta be careful with how light bounce because if you use it badly it kind of ruin the features of your subjects yes yes that's that's how i do it and see uh, okay under um, you know make sure it looks smooth and stuff and yeah, so that's pretty much it. Well, after I'm satisfied with what I do, I flatten my image and add a global dodge and burn. It's local, it's local. In here, I gotta do the lighting again. It's a fitness, it's a fitness. And my vision was to make the light pop so much on her, like, yeah. I did it deliberately and if I'm doing on local dodge and burn uh, instead of changing my flow 
on option two on option bar i change my opacity into seven percent and start do the highlighting you know okay i'll do the highlighting highlighting mm, until i get satisfied i till i think it's enough and here i got a sculpture you know a feature okay yes this is dojin ban you can you can definitely do a dojin ban on this one but i love to do it manually by myself not depend on the action that much okay if you guys want to see me do this action showing you how to do this this action showing how to do this for you just subscribe and i will do it for you your wish is my command sorry <laughs> okay i'm doing the highlight here okay yeah I think it's enough I love it yes good to go she's already highlighted and you don't have to do it on skin you know everywhere that you want your light to pop more just use it okay yeah Okay, then I flatten my image again. Mm -hmm. And once I'm done with that logo dodge and burn, I'm gonna add a 50% clay layer and do the highlight on her hair, you know, make it look more silky and smoothy. Mm -hmm. Yes, on her hair. This is only for her hair and her eyes, you know, to make her eyes more pop and make her eyes look more strong okay that's thanks to dojo ban it kind of saved me it saved the day okay so yes high blow okay using that bun you know mm -hmm. make her pop more and stuff see she has a beautiful eyes so. her name is bianca okay she's an inspiration you know She's an inspiration why I'm going to gym right now. Yeah. So, yes. And we're good to go. Then I flatten my image. Okay. Mm. Okay. And this is, I think, I'm satisfied. What I'm going to do is color collect and uh, uh, under harm it's way more dark so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add a solid color after everything is done i'm sure i just like it but the only issue is on under arm and how i usually do to and what i usually do to sample the color and remove all that darkness is that i gotta sample a skin color I gotta sample a skin color and add an adjustment adjustment which is solid color and change my blend mode to color wow i'm praying with color 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 and change my blend mode to color my blush into 50 percent opacity and paint under arm you see what i okay actually paint under arm i think you see the difference there there's not much of darkness of blackness and that's how i tackle the problem some of you may be asking why I didn't use invented iPads, it's color collection. No, <laughs> no, I didn't want to. You know, if you use it too much, it kind of distracted our features and the lighting stuff. So I want, okay, and here we go. So I will see the difference. So I gotta move in more distraction. Okay, I'm using a clone stamp tool, but usually I don't think it works, so I move into a healing brush tool. I love healing brush too, you know, just, just so good. Okay, so yeah. But make sure it brings in well. Okay, so just, okay. And, yeah, I think I like it that way. And here we go. Our oh, image is ready for served. Now, Yes, I think I like it that way. I like it. Okay. So this is for final touches. You know, it's final touches. Make sure everything is as good as it is and that is as perfect. And perfect yet no more. You know. 
okay no dramatic change okay so i'm gonna move on a distraction okay, just in case anybody out there try to zoom in the image you know okay and that you can you guys can excuse my mouse mm -hmm. so yeah that pretty much it yes after doing everything and everything, this is where I gotta sharpen my image. I love this part. Learn the trick from Ose Greg Asnari, my teammate. Okay, so what I gotta do on sharpening image is that I um, duplicate my image two times and group them and change the brand mode to overlay. Yes, change the blend mode to overlay and then on layer group one, change the blend mode to vivid light and then inverse and go to filter, blur, then surface bra. Okay, you gotta do your setting there, which you think it's enough. It's enough for you. Okay, and I've done my setting. I think this is right. So, I think this is right. Yes, I love it. Okay, see, so let us see the sharpness there. Okay, I think I love it, so I'm gonna reduce and opacity a little bit small. A little bit, a little bit small. Just my, I gotta change my opacity to, um, I think 18, yeah, 18 works. And we're good to go. Your image is ready for use. I hope you guys understand, if you did not, Ask me question on the comment below. Comment your question. Comment. Ask. Yeah. On the comment below and don't forget to subscribe.